Hi students and families, Teacher Allison here, and I know you might have lost track of what day of the week it is, and what year it is, and what month it is, but I'm here to tell you that today is Tuesday, and on Tuesdays in my class at school, we normally do a cutting activity. So today I thought we would do a little cutting activity. You might have seen around your neighborhood or on the internet, a lot of people are doing heart decorations in their windows in solidarity with all the essential workers who are out on the front lines every day of our coronavirus crisis that we're having right now in the world. So I thought that it would be a little bit nice for us to do a cut some hearts and decorate our own windows um, to show solidarity with everyone else who is quarantined at home right now. So what you're going to do is get some colored papers. Uh, I'm using origami, but if you have construction paper, that would be great. You can even use um, some of the papers that maybe we painted yesterday or last week uh, to cut out. If it was an abstract art, that would be perfect actually to use once it's dry to cut out and put up in your window. Um, but all I could find in my house was origami, so that's what I'm going to use. So what you're going to do is fold it in half um, with, the, with the colored side on the inside. If you're using construction paper, both sides are colored, so it doesn't really matter. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw half of your heart on your piece of paper with the heart going to the middle part, like this. Okay, like this and then your child is going to cut it out. So if your child was actually in my class, they are more than capable of doing this activity because we have done a lot of cutting practice so far this year and we even have practiced this exact shape in this exact method for cutting. But if your not child is not in my class, you might need to discuss how properly to hold the scissors. So let's get a little quick tutorial on how we hold the scissors. So very important is that we have the the big side of the scissors on the bottom with all of our fingers in it and then our thumb in the top hole here and our thumb should be facing up to the sky okay and our scissors should always face away from us I see a lot of kids sometimes trying to cut like this towards them and it's really hard and not really that safe so we need to make sure the scissors are pointing away from us and that our thumb is up all right like that exactly all right and then we hold the paper in one hand and we very carefully cut along our lines. And then we open it up. Wow, look at that beautiful heart we made. All right, and then what you're gonna do is just stick this to your front window where someone can see, where people from the street could see it. Um, I would put, I'm actually gonna do several hearts, as many hearts as I can, and I'm gonna put them all up in my window as a display. And um, then, this is a two-part activity. What I would like you to do is walk around your neighborhoods and see where you can find, how many houses you can find that have hearts in them. I was walking around my neighborhood and I already saw a lot of houses that have hearts in them. And here we are, I, I live in Canada. So I imagine if you live in the States, you're also gonna find a lot of houses that are participating in this um, heart decoration activity. So I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Comment below with a picture of what your final look was. And I would love to see what you guys do with this. All right, take care.